You know what we haven't done in a while? A one brand wash day. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're brand new here, hi, my name's Courtney, and I enjoy playing around with the curly girl method. Hey there, guys. Editing Courtney coming at you real quick to apologize profusely for the focus issues in this video. I am not very high tech and I'm still learning how to use my camera and I'm just sorry. This, these clips of me sitting in my bedroom talking are out of focus. I do fix it right at the end of the video but it's a little out of focus and it's killing me a little bit on the inside. So I apologize. It does get better. I'm still learning how to use my camera. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. And today I am testing out a line from My Soigne. This is a lovely small woman owned business. Jackie, the founder, actually developed these products in her own kitchen. And I gotta say, I'm kind of loving them. This is my fourth time playing around with the products, but it is the first time using them on my new haircut. Isn't a new haircut always fun? If you're curious to see more one brand wash days using Curly Girl approved products, please subscribe and click that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload again. Also, if you enjoy one brand wash days, especially featuring small women owned businesses, please give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know that you enjoy the content. It also helps me out a little bit, which I dearly, greatly appreciate. Y'all are the best. And y'all sharing these videos? I mean, oh my goodness. Y'all are the sweetest people in the universe. Thank you. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Hey there guys. Okay. So we are just hanging out here in my bathroom. I am just getting my hair nice and thoroughly saturated with water to prepare for the cleansing process. I get asked often, do I really wash my hair upside down every single time? And the answer is yes. Yes, I do. And I actually have a theory developing on this actually helping my hair grow faster inversion method. Okay, so going in with the My Soigne hair cleanser, I'm grabbing a nice handful, not a gigantic portion, but a decent sized clump. And I'm just going to be putting that all over my scalp, distributing that around the perimeter, and then separating my hair and making sure to apply some in the middle of my hair to to help distribution. I really love doing this with co-washes. I find that it really, really helps make sure that my entire scalp gets clean. I don't know. I just have trouble getting co-washes to distribute really well. Okay. Also, another trick in co-washing is making sure you spend enough time scrubbing your scalp. So I really took some time and scrubbed there with the pads of my fingers. Now I'm adding a tiny bit of water to that to help it lather and suds just a tiny bit. And I'm going in with the Oh Blessed Scalp Scrubber. I really, really make sure I use this when I am using a co-wash. It really helps cleanse my scalp. I really feel like this with a co-wash is the way to go. I do use this with low poos as well, and I do enjoy it, but there's something about using this with a co-wash that just ensures an extra good clean. It also feels really good. Back to the inversion method. Apparently, if you hang upside down, it increases blood flow to the scalp, increases hair growth. Interesting, right? I need to do a video on that. Okay, so now I am just thoroughly rinsing out this hair cleanser. Another important thing with co-washing is to make sure that you are using enough warm water with rinsing so that all that cleanser that has picked up your hair oils gets rinsed out thoroughly. So I'm making sure to rinse really, really well here and continually scrubbing with the pads of my fingers to ensure maximum cleanse, cleanliness. Wow, can't talk. Okay, now I'm going in with the My Soigne hair cream and I'm using this 
like a leave-in. And I am only grabbing one fourth teaspoon of hair cream. My hair does not like a lot of leave-in and my hair doesn't like a whole lot of cream. And I've talked to some other friends that play around with this hair product and they feel the same way that this particular hair cream is really, really concentrated. So you don't need just copious amounts of it. All right. So I've got that finger raked through my hair. My hair is thoroughly detangled. I kind of use that to detangle as well. And now I'm just going to finish distributing that hair cream through my hair with my perfect hair care brush. I really do use that brush almost every single time I wash my hair now. I have found this to be an essential step in eliminating some overall frizz as well as wet frizz. Now I'm just taking that brush and raking the hair off the sides of my face. I also pushed all the hair away from my face so that I created a bunch of little parts and my hair, even though I'm styling upside down, will not fall on my face. Yay for that. Now I'm doing kind of a squish to condish with that cream. I'm also beginning to organize and situate all my curl clumps like I do. I stand up and really shake the hair off the back of my head, swinging my hair every which way, doing everything I can to destroy all the curl clumps I've worked for. Just kidding. Now I'm going in with the My Soigné Flaxseed Gel and this stuff, guys, I really love this stuff. So I'm going to grab one teaspoon of product right now and I'm going to very carefully glaze it over my hair. But first I'm going to show you that yes, it is a true flaxseed gel, kind of has that icky consistency, but I glaze it over and then I begin to squish and scrunch this into my hair, swishing it around like mouthwash. I'm not trying to squeeze my hair so hard that I squeeze all the product out. I'm just trying to swish it around in my hair. I hope that makes sense. So just really taking my time. Now I thought about using another teaspoon, but then I said, nope, I'm going to grab one more fourth teaspoon of flaxseed gel. And I'm really going to stand up and shake the hair off the back of my head and apply just a tiny, tiny bit more product to the side slash back of my head. This standing up and really shaking the hair off the back of my head and kind of flinging my head from side to side really helps shake my curl clumps together. If you check out my curl clump hacks 2.0, that will absolutely explain why I fling my head around as much as I do. Now I'm just finishing up squishing this into my hair and there we go. That's that. Now it's the moment of truth. Let's break this gel cast and see what we're working with. Oh my goodness. I'm so goofy. So I diffused my hair for about 30 minutes, which had it right at that 90% dry mark that I really like. And then I wandered around the house, finishing up doing household things. I wasn't overly careful about not touching my hair, but I also wasn't trying really hard to like headbang to some really good music while I cleaned or anything like that. So. to mention that I did a little bit of the Smasters technique. This technique was beautifully demonstrated by Real Life Curly Girl in one of her videos. If you type into YouTube search Smasters, you will find her info. Basically with Smasters, what you do is you wet your hands in the sink, you grab a tiny bit of gel and Partway through diffusing, you will smooth and scrunch in just a tiny bit more gel and water into your hair. I modified that a little bit. I actually just did that right at the end of diffusing. And the reason for that is, is that I was noticing that this flaxseed gel, I was having some escapees. I was having some frizz that was escaping curl clumps. So glazing just a tiny bit more gel and water on my hair right when I finished, pulled those pieces back down into a curl clump where they needed to go. So anyway, let me turn around and show you the back.
So I'm um, really digging this wash day. It's so pretty. Also, what do y'all think of my new haircut? It's so much lighter weight. I'm kind of excited about it. But as for this wash day, I will check in again later today and tomorrow morning to show you how it's holding up. It is a very cold, kind of rainy spring morning. <laughs> and I have just finished getting ready, but I haven't done anything to my hair. This is still the overnight pineapple. I like putting my hair up with an Invisibubble. And part of the trick to pulling the Invisibubble out of your hair is to kind of like stretch it open. If you just like try and rip it out, it'll bind down in your hair. So stretch it and lift it out. I learned that trick from my friend Heather over on the Instagrams. All I'm gonna do is kinda get it parted and then I'm gonna let it settle and I'll be back to show you the results. Part of the trick to second day hair, third day hair, is not messing with your hair too, too much. As soon as you take it down, you kind of let it settle down because it's been up all night, kinda let it find its place where it's going to be when it's down and you may find that some pieces that are out of their curl clumps if you just give them a second kind of come back into their curl clumps so i'm going to let this settle for about 10 to 15 minutes and i'll be right back all right so my hair has settled and as you can see it's looking way flatter than it was before and now i'm ready to move into refreshing it just a little bit. So Jackie from My Soigne came up with a refreshing spray she has created with her products, using her products. Words aren't happening very well today. So I wanted to test that out in this video, but I am going to be using one product that's not from My Soigne in this one brand wash day, and that is my, my Hair Dance Dry Shampoo. I have been terribly, terribly addicted to this. I have had it for about six months at this point and used it very heavily and I've only used that much of it. This stuff is awesome. So I'm just going to get a little bit in my roots because y'all know me, I just am a little bit greasy and that's okay. I have found that if I get some dry shampoo in my hair, it will actually stay less greasy much longer than if I wait until it's like really bad and then I try and put dry shampoo in. It's like it goes past the point of no return or something. So I really like this one too because it works better if you go ahead and rub it in right away. You don't have to wait for it to sit there and soak up oil from your hair. It doesn't ever make my hair feel gritty like some volumizing powders do even though it says volumizing dry shampoo. And it does give me a little bit of volume without making my roots super gritty. All right, so there's that. And now I'm going to make the refresh spray that Jackie talked about. And you may be asking yourself, Courtney, why are you refreshing? Well, for fun, really. I don't refresh very often. Usually I'll wash my hair and then on day two, I will shake it out real good and just kind of rock this softer, looser wave look. But I'm curious to see if this refresh spray will work for me to tame some frizz and bring back some curl definition and curl enhancement. So basically you start off with warm water in a Flarisol bottle. You take a little bit of her hair cream and I will be measuring it. Seriously, having these teaspoon measures in my bathroom to measure exactly how much product I'm using has been 
really helpful to me. It seems a little bit silly and a little excessive at times, but it has been so worth it. One fourth teaspoon of the cream, and Jackie does recommend using less cream if your hair doesn't need as much cream and more gel, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. And now I'm taking a little bit of her flaxseed gel. I'm gonna be taking a teaspoon of her flaxseed gel and putting it into the mixture. And I love the way her flaxseed gel smells. She's put a lot of lavender oil, essential oil in here, and it smells so relaxing. I really, really enjoy it. All right. There we go. Now shake. All right, so I've been shaking this for about a minute straight and I actually went into my bathroom and poured a little bit of the water out so that I would have better shaking power. Not all of the cream has dissolved in here, but the majority of it has. So now I'm ready to start using this to refresh. And I'm not sure how I wanna do this. I'm not sure how long I was out of focus there, but hopefully it's back in focus. Oh, I'm trying to make sure that this works well. Okay, so as I was saying, I am having mixed feelings about how I should use this. So what Jackie does is she just sprays this concoction all over her hair. But when I spray stuff, like Flaresol mist on my hair. Sometimes that goes really well and sometimes it doesn't. So we're gonna try spraying it directly on my hair and see what happens. And if I need to, I'm gonna start spraying it into my hand and smoothing. So let's see what happens. All right, now I'm going to smooth and scrunch and what the smoothing does is it pulls any frizz back into a curl clump and then when you scrunch it reactivates curl enhancement if you're a wavy like me and your curls don't want to spring up on their own they need all the encouragement and cheering and help that they can get So my hair isn't sopping, sopping wet right now, but it's, it's pretty wet. It's not wet enough that it's gonna squish or squelch, but it is most certainly damp. I think I'm gonna wet just a little bit more right there because it felt less wet than the other side. There we go. And now you could, oh my gosh, stop touching your hair, Courtney. So this is what my hair looks like really wet. So what you could do at this point is you could air dry and scrunch out the crunch once you were 100% dry. Or if you don't wanna leave your house with wet hair, you could which is what I will be doing today. Cause it's a little too cold outside to have wet hair. Well, I finished diffusing and whoa, whoa. I kind of like it. My hair is almost dry. It's not completely dry. And I should be a good curly girl and not scrunch it out till it's 100% dry. I'm really tempted to break my own rule because I'm real excited to see what this is gonna look like scrunched out. But if you scrunch out your hair before it's 100% dry and you break that gel cast before it's like fully formed, 
that's a recipe for elongated frizzy curls. So I'm gonna be a good curly girl and not scrunch out the crunch till my hair is 100% dry. But I wanted to show you what it was looking like after I diffused because it's looking kind of fun. All right, moment of truth. It is now fully dry. I'm going to re-scrunch to kind of loosen everything up. Yes, it's looking a little bit stringy, but it's looking pretty curly too. So we'll see what this looks like when I get it scrunched out. All right, not so pro tip. If you're having a hard time scrunching out the crunch, try prayer hands. Sometimes that'll help. That's helping it not be quite so stringy. Here we go. I love, do y'all see this? I know it's a little frizzy, but I love how curly that looks. That's cute. Usually when I have a smaller curl clump size, the wavier, curlier my hair looks. Oh my goodness. I feel like this refreshed really well. It's a little stringy, but it has so much more curl enhancement. All right, editing Courtney, play back the side-by-side -side footage, pre-refresh and post-refresh. Fingers crossed I can do that. <laughs> And to wrap up this video, I thought I'd talk about the products from My Soigne really quick. So the Cream Hair Cleanser is not designed for somebody with a very oily scalp. It is designed for somebody with incredibly dry hair and a pretty dry scalp. It's got lots of amazing essential oils in it. My scalp was feeling pretty itchy yesterday when I washed my hair with it. 100% cleared that up and it did clean my greasy roots. But I did notice that today my hair was more greasy than on days when I low poo. Usually I can have slightly less grease. Not a lot less grease, but a little bit. <laughs> so I was just like a teeny tiny bit more oily than I normally am. All right, the hair cream is maybe the best cream I have tried since the Zotos Bounce Cream. And that's like the only cream I ever liked. And I think I like this a lot, maybe even better. There are no proteins in here, but it's just very lightweight for cream while also being hydrating and helping curl enhancement and curl clumps form. So, wow, I never thought I'd love a cream this much, but this is a good one. Definitely worth checking out. And the flaxseed gel, has all the benefits of a homemade flaxseed gel, lightweight, shine, good curl enhancement, while also having more hold and providing a little bit of a cast. Homemade flaxseed gel does not give me a cast no matter what, and the curls are pretty gone by day two. Also, the refresh spray, <laughs> you guys tell me in the comments down below, what do you think of this refresh spray? I'm kind of floored. I only used that much of the bottle, so not much more product added to my hair. And yeah, I'm pretty pleased. Look at this thing. How cute is that? All right, guys, that is it for this one brand wash day. I hope you are having an absolutely fantastic day and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.